Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Mechanics. Welcome to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Show and Tell video. Today we're going to be looking at a scratch-built model that my dad actually built based out of drawings from the 1926 Dykes Automobile and Gasoline Engine Encyclopedia. Now this book was actually given to my uncle. It was awarded to my uncle in a old contest that my uncle entered for the uh, smartest man in Canada. Now my uncle actually was the fifth smartest man in Canada, which is quite a nice thing. So he was awarded this book. Now this book is really thick. A lot of people can buy this on the internet still. And it's got all these classic images in here of like different mechanical things. So you can see like the fifth smartest man in Canada actually getting this. It's basically a repair book that covers every known vehicle from about 1900 up to 1926. And these were also updated over the years and I do believe the last one came out in 1948, but I'm not sure on that. Anyway, let's go down to the bench and see how my dad built the 1913 Jeffrey's Quad Truck. This is my dad's 1913 scratch-built Jeffrey's Quad Truck. And the reason why this is called a quad is because it's got front-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive, making it a four-wheel drive, and the wheels actually turn opposed to each other on all four axles to improve the steering. Now what I've added in here is the IMAX mechanic figure that comes with the Henry Ford set. This guy is 124 scale, just so you can see how big this truck is. What I'm going to do is just remove him right now so that you can see the truck as I rotate it around. Now the plans for this truck came from my uncle's Dykes Encyclopedia from 1926. My dad actually had my uncle photocopy this and send him out all the details. You can see the gigantic engine in here. My dad completely scratch built this from pieces of styrene. He also built the steering column in here, the floor pedals, everything. Everything you see here is scratch built and my dad also vacuum formed a whole bunch of parts with a homemade vacuum former, as well as made the artillery wheels and the tires. Now the pickup bed also includes real wood in here, which is amazing. All the springs, everything, it's all scratch built. So what more can I say? As we rotate it around, you can see the springs in here that my dad built. Again, leaf by leaf and everything else. There's the engine from the side view. Almost looks like a giant Model T motor, but it's not, of course. Built in the fan and everything. I think the fan might have actually come from a, another model kit, but that might be the only bit of it. Now, one thing I will do here is I'm going to turn the steering wheel carefully and watch the wheels down below. See, there they are turning. Now that, let's just lift it up a little bit. Okay. I did notice that I think my dad actually made the tie rod up front a little bit short. But now, as you can see here, the rear wheels actually turned in the opposite direction to this. So what my dad has is a reversible steering box on there. So there they are. They've turned that way. That's so that this truck can make a sharper turn around corners. Now, the Jeffrey's Quad is really interesting as well because after 1913, these were used in World War I to actually haul artillery pieces through mud. And the Jeffrey's Quad was the only vehicle that could do that because of the front wheel drive and the rear wheel drive. Well, the four wheel drive, let's be honest here. So again, really awesome stuff. I, let's just turn the wheel back and you can see the mechanism. It actually slides opposed to each other. So there we go. And now we're going to make the other left hand turn. And again, there they are, the two wheels moving in opposition to one another. So what we've got here in that box is the two pieces are sitting together like this. When you turn the wheel one way, it goes like that with the uh, bottom one going forward and the front one sliding back. And when you turn it the other way, 
they reverse direction on each other. So that's what's going on down there. And my dad engineered that again based on those illustrations in the Dykes Encyclopedia from 1926. There's the fuel tank, which is under the seat, again, like Model T. My dad also built that entire seat. So there's the uh, figure again, sitting right beside the quad. The bed is actually removable as well. So I guess you could put something else on here, or maybe a tow operation for those artillery guns, however that goes. And my dad made those little grips in there for that. All this was vacuum formed, the curves in the bed. And again, we got the chain across the back. This all drops in carefully like that. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. My dad also entered this into many model kit shows and won some awards for it. Again, this is scratch building at its finest by my dad. Now everything on here is painted, unlike his earlier models. Oh, I did get that a little crooked there. And... Uh, not I'm not sure if he did this with a brush again. Probably. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's sprayed. This is a custom kind of cream brown color. So again, hard to know how my dad did this. Unfortunately, he passed away before I could even ask him on this. Now here's the Jeffrey's quad on its side. And you can see the uh, drive shaft down here for the front wheels and axle. There's the differential up top on the top of the axle. You got the oil pan underneath in the crank. And then the mechanism, which unfortunately my dad couldn't paint just because it's a moving piece. There's the brake right there on that drum. And then that's a transmission brake, so it actually locks up the tranny. And here's our dual transfer case in there. And we've also got the springs. Now, I'll just tilt this up carefully, and you'll notice right under here, my dad has the roll-down curtains, which would go on the sides in case it rained when you were driving the quad. So again, really awesome work. Now, before we go here, I thought I'd just read my dad's notes that I found right here. And what he has written down is, the Jeffrey Quad was built from 1913 to 1928, had four-wheel drive, it went 14 miles an hour at 1500 RPM. It had a four wheel steering, 45 inch turning circle, sorry, 45 foot turning circle. Four wheel brakes stop in its own length at 14 miles an hour. Three differentials, all interchangeable. Three propeller shafts, four drive shaft with sealed bearings. One and a half ton vehicle with a 20% overload had a four-cylinder Bubba engine with a four and a quarter bore and a five and a half inch stroke. So that's a lot of torque. Eiselman Magneto Ignition, Model L Stromberg carburetor. The last one died in 1952, but it was rebuilt in 1979. And just for fun, here is an image of the Bubba motor from the 1928 Dykes Encyclopedia. Well, I really hope you enjoyed watching that episode of the 1913 Jeffrey's truck that my dad made all out of scratch by using a vacuform plastic machine and various different pieces of styrene from Evergreen and whatnot, all based out of the Dykes Encyclopedia that my uncle won in a contest many, many years ago. So if you love these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Click that join button, and you know what? For $3 a month, you can help out this entire channel with just a little bit of financial help. We are monetized, but that is fluctuating up and down. Whereas if you click that join button for as long as you want to support us, it's a constant steady $3 a month, which will build up quite nicely. What I wish to do with that money is actually open up a future museum that's dedicated to all these models that my dad and I have built over the years as well as models from other people that we might have got from different ways or whatnot, and uh, just really flesh this thing out. Like all these vintage cars, I do believe they should be in a display altogether on their own. Maybe, uh, you know, some of the race cars in a race display, cool things like that. But I can't really do this on my own. I do need some help. I also own a hobby shop called Monster Hobbies. So if you want to see which models we own and, well, not that we own, but that we are selling currently, don't forget to check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca. I'm going to leave a clickable link down here. 
that you can click on and that will take you right to our model car page without any hassle or fuss. I have that page all arranged so that like if you want GM's General Motors, there's a little icon you click on there and it opens up all our General Motors cars for sale. If you love Ford, you click there and it's got Ford. That just saves you from like other websites where you got to scroll through an endless catalog or search across endless pictures. We also have a little search thing so you could type in exactly what you want. But if you're just sort of browsing for Fords, you know, bang, you'll see only our Fords and not anything else. No Chevys or Pontiacs or Dodges or Plymouths or Maxwells or anything else stuck in there. Strictly Fords. Same with the Mopar guys, you won't see the other and so on and so on. It's really good. Now, also when you click that join button, you'll get your names in the end credits, which are coming up right now. So until next time, everybody, happy model building. And hey, if you can scratch build stuff, why not share that on our website and on our Facebook page? Until next time, happy model building.